folks, I've always said in these videos that GIS is incredibly relevant to 21st century society. And perhaps the recent Hurricane Harvey that hit Texas is the perfect example, although a very sad and grim one, of the need for coordinated, responsible, data-driven, and also human-driven decision-making that is based in part, in large part, on geospatial technology. So for example, if you go to this Hurricane Harvey Maps and Apps Gallery, this is all built on ESRI Web GIS technology. For example, there's a Hurricane Harvey story map, photo journal. It basically gets people involved with submitting photos of the damage and not just for their own sake. But if you look at some of these, you get an idea of where the damage has been most uh, serious and you can navigate with the photographs or you can navigate on the map. And these photos often help people mitigate disasters after they happen, but also they help emergency responders. Oftentimes these tweets and photos that come out of these kinds of citizen science crowdsourced tools like a story map help people get the help that they need. So this isn't just some academic exercise in highlighting the use of geotechnologies. These are very real, critical, serious situations. So that's just one of them. You can actually set up your own crowdsource story map quite easily with the crowdsource app that's on storymaps.arcgis.com. So there's also this Hurricanes and Tropical Cyclones app. It's part of the disaster response set of tools that ESRI puts out as part of its public information. Now right now you can see that Hurricane Irma is being tracked and as I as I write this and create this video I'm my stomach is kind of churning looking at these maps but this again this isn't just some ac academic exercise or hey let's look at how great GIS is this is the kind of thing that is very critically used and is right now being used you look at the next 72 hours estimated forecast precipitation it's a very ser serious situation you can set up tabs in a story map like uh, these folks have done right here where you see different uh, themes in the different tabs and so for example this one and others like it whether it's wildfires or tornadoes droughts floods whatever it happens to be these kinds of tools again are really critical now there's also something called the dashboard with these tools you can also set up a dashboard what is a dashboard well it allows citizens decision makers and others to look at maps charts graphs and other information it brings them together in a single web mapping application so the idea is instead of you know spending time going to lots of different government agencies private companies nonprofits university geography and GIS departments etc you can get this information in one spot now that said because anybody can create one of these you still need to be critical of the data you still need to figure out who created it and why and when and make sure it's an authoritative source that you can actually trust to make decisions on whether to send this emergency crew into this area or whether to evacuate your house I mean it comes right down to making very key decisions based on the data so I encourage you to always look at the metadata in any one of these maps but take a look at this this is something that comes out with increasing frequency every time there's some sort of natural hazard or even human caused uh, disaster such as a, a, a breakage of a dam or or whatever it happens to be these maps powered by geographic information systems are increasingly used in society thanks and be careful out there